back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part we went, we got a new partner, Cooper, and in this part we're going to be going inside Cooper Brothers Fortress. So, yeah. We're going in. Alright, so yeah, how dungeons work in this game. Dungeons are basically, kind of, kind of have a style of Legend of Zelda, but you have to fight. Yeah, so this, we also have a new enemy. Bombs. Or however you want to pronounce them, Bombs. However you want to say it. Basically, Bombs are very... No, are basically very typical enemies. They have the same kind of idea of good ones, but... Well, so the thing about it. Whenever you do any kind of physical attack to them, or I think any kind of attack, they'll start going up in blazes like that. All you have to do is do like some kind of armored attack, like with Cooper, and you'll get and they'll explode. So yeah, awesome. Four star points and drop the key. Nice. So we're gonna open fortress here, and we're gonna continue on. Yeah, bomb bombs are a little uh crud. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, like I was saying, bomb bombs are kind of annoying type dudes. I think they have 4 HP, if I remember correctly. I haven't played this in a while, and yeah. The guys can be annoying. Yep, so four more star points. Da -da -da -da, we are in big, yes! Oh man, the other one's right on our tail. We gotta get out of here. Oh my god, it's another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. It's green this time. Ha ha ha. Let's see the great Mario get any further now. <laughs> Teenage Mario. This is one thing I never got about this game with the Koopas. I mean, like, I still don't get it to this day. I mean, like, in Super... Oh yeah. I forgot to say something. Okay. Little secret here. You walk through here where the Koopa was. For some reason they can't go in there anymore. What the heck? Okay, that was random. So I'm kind of just proud. Alright, so he's dead with another six star points. We're almost to another level up. Alright, for some reason I can't go in here anymore. Can't? Crud, what happened? I... Okay, either A, I failed the opportunity to get it, but yeah. Oh man, you have to actually get something else, yeah. So, I was stupid. Basically, when the Koopa goes out, you can go in there and get that certain badge. But I failed, so yeah. You don't have to criticize me. Uh, oh! I did it! Nice! Alright, so this is the power balance. You'll be able to hit an enemy continuously. So, let's equip it. If we can. Oh, nice. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of close call, because close call stinks. We're gonna add power bounce because power bounce is awesome. And uh no, I like the for some reason I really like to keep the power jumps and stuff like that. Alright, yeah, so let's just continue on since we can't do much right now. Yeah, but I mean if anyone could tell me in the comments why Koopas have sunglasses in this game, I would love to know. So for some reason I think I have to fight this Koopa. Okay, um, apparently, I don't know. Ah, right. See, I need to find a Koopa. Great. Yeah! I believe this guy has a key, and we just failed. Alright, um, uh. Okay, Thunderbolt. Should we use it? No, let's use Power Block. Power Block's awesome. Yeah, so, bang! Oh, yeah, in the beta, uh, not in the beta, but like one of the test levels in this game. There was a power block in it. I think it was supposed to be like a map, like a... I think it was gonna be in the hub world. I don't know if it just got... If it just, you know, lost its ability. But yeah, we got a level up. Awesome. So this time we're gonna increase FP. Yay! And they had no... Oh yeah! Switch. Yeah, power blocks are usually gonna be like a certain thing in the... Normal hub world, which I believe was supposed to kill all enemies on screen. We would earn the experience points. Because this game was going to be the second Super Mario. This is going to be Super Mario RPG 2. Now I hate to give history to people who just want to learn how to beat this game. But whatever. Okay, so um, which way do we go? 
I think we're supposed to go, uh, I'm not sure. Which way do we go? I have a feeling if we go this way. Oh man, look, it's a jail. Poor bomb bombs. They must be the good kind, since the ones I fight are all the time annoying. So yeah, let's go this way. What the heck? Okay, apparently doors know how to jump now. Yes, yeah, so this is a fighting area. I think Al. Okay, and he is dead. Four more star points. Yay! Alright, so yeah, we have a bunch of enemies to fight. For stupid reasons. Trust me, I don't like these kinds of. Ow! Okay, I guess. Ow! I'm gonna show this part to you people and torture you. You know what? Forget you guys! I'm still using my Thunderbolt. Now, if you only use that one enemy, later on we get a cool, a cool one called Thunder Rage. So I think we're gonna just do nothing. Whoa! That hurt. Okay, it's smart to do that first. I'm so yeah, we're gonna kill these guys. And I think I might show off power bounce. Yeah, why not? Let's show off power bounce. Okay, so power bounce. Continually pressing our attack. Awesome. We just got four star points as we are. Epic. So yeah. Crud. Man, I hate these brawling sections. Um, any, any cool item to you? No. So I think we're gonna just use uh, Crud. This is gonna be annoying. You don't know how much I don't like fighting in this game. I'm only showing these two fights because I feel like it. I usually don't show fights. Usually most of the fights in games are annoying. I know that you got in the audience, I know you guys don't want to watch this kind of stuff. So yeah, what's been going on in the Green Invaders? I haven't said much about that. Nothing much actually, you know. We have a few pretty decent ideas, and coming soon, eventually, is going to be the season finale of Super Mario 64. Now, I know I'm getting off topic, topic, but usually because I want to get off topic. So, yeah. We got a power block. Yay! We got another power block. Isn't that great? So, okay. We're going back to the good old days of Super Mario Brothers. To jump over flames of Al. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say that anymore. Okay, we can do this. Yeah! Why wasn't this in the Olympic Games? Flame jumping. That would have been perfect for an Olympic event. You know, flame jumping. That would have been perfect. Like Mario and the setting and everything. So, yeah, we're going to continue on. To that locked door in the front. Ah, that we couldn't get to before. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, we just opened the door. And what's this? Another teenager who's a Ninja Turtle. He's, he's yellow. Okay, this is perfect, I think. That's just so coincidental. How is it all these Cuba bros figure out that, like, Mario's coming just in the last second? So, before we go on, we're going to go up here, and then I believe there's a... Save block? Yeah. Let's save! Yeah! Whee! So we're just gonna go up here. And... Of course... Like you- Whoa! This door. Let's open it. Huh. I never went this way. Whoa! Oh, I know how to hit. And we got six more star points. Yay! Okay, I don't think I'm ever gonna come this way again. Yeah, it's a locked door. We can't go this way anymore. So, hey, look, an item! Crap. Oh, crap. Whoa! Okay, that's 
awesome little tried paper. Oh man. Dang it, these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles aren't nice at all. Ow. Ow. Oh, what was that? D where did that fall from? Well, where did that fall from? Jeez. Oh, I wonder what just fell. But aren't you Mario? I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Whoa, who, me? My name's Bombay. In case you had noticed, I'm Bomb. Pleased to meet you. So, yeah, I'm gonna get everything back up. So, yeah, so. Make sure to stay tuned for Let's Play Paper Mario, because in the next part we're going to find a way to get out of this jail cell. So see ya.